After Afghanistan, future operations are likely to be small-scale interventions in failed or failing states. That kind of deployment has recently been trialled on Exercise Civil Bridge at the British Army Training Unit in Kenya or Batak. During the exercise, a team of specialists also looked at the relationship between the training unit and the local community. Charlotte Cross reports. A few hundred metres away from Batak's headquarters in the town of Nanuki is a row of souvenir shops. A highly trained team from the Defence Cultural Specialist Unit and 15 Psychological Operations Group has been deployed on Exercise Civil Bridge to investigate the local economy in the town. They are completely dependent um, on the, um, the economy that we bring to the area. Um, the amount of money that we bring to the curio shops that you can see in the background here um, is, is invaluable to them. That then has a secondary and tertiary effect uh, when it comes to the guys here being able to go to local shops to buy. They want to find out what people think of Batak. They do that by getting out on the ground, speaking to the people who live and work here. Gaining trust and rapport with the people is basically the first the first in to actually talk with people and more importantly finding out what their grievances are and what they need. The locals are happy to talk to the soldiers because they want their problems heard. Batak has a big impact in this area, bringing in money, security and jobs. Batuk in Anuke is very nice. We like you to stay here for many years as, as God can bless you and stay here forever. When they come out, they come to give us some money and they buy some for some carvings. They give us, I've got my motorbike here, they give us job. But the traders here are worried. They rely on British soldiers for much of their income. A bar brawl in March led to negative headlines in the papers back home and many soldiers have been confined to barracks, unable to spend their money in these shops. These sort of local traders here have, have only got two customers really, uh, the British Army and tourists. And if the British Army troops aren't around, for whatever reason, they might be uh, gated, they might be up in Archer's Post on exercise, then they're not getting any trade. That message will be fed back to Batak. This is real-world information and analysis which will enable Batak to understand in depth the environment in which they're operating. This is what we've been able to facilitate by having not just people on the ground, like I've got my tactical team here, but at my level as well, we, we take what my tactical team tells me, we analyse it and then we make other recommendations and push it further up. An officer who's also a native Kenyan and fluent Swahili speaker is part of the team, cherry-picked for what he brings to the exercise. They're used to what we call Wazungu, which is which, which the, the white people essentially, and that's where they see the British Army, they're expecting white people. Uh, so when they see me wearing British Army uniform, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a captain as well, I've got a Kenyan name, um, they're, quite, they're quite proud and they feel uh, I will, I'll, I'll, help, I'll help get their message across uh, to the British Army. Ideas like this have been trialled before, especially in Afghanistan. Bringing together small teams of highly specialised personnel means what they do has much more impact on the ground. In this part of the world where poverty is rife, tensions can rise quickly. In Nanyuki, there's work to be done to improve the relationship between the people and the British Army. Exercise Civil Bridge has made a good start. Charlotte Cross, Forces News, Kenya.